Hey folks, Tom Moore coming to you with another video on living in Halifax. Today we're going to be going over how to identify good investment opportunities here in Halifax. We've got six different factors we're going to be considering, so stay tuned. All right, so point number one is we're going to investigate the local market. So what this means is that depending on what kind of buyer we are, maybe we're an out of Halifax buyer, out of province buyer, maybe even out of the country, we're going to want to really kind of dive into what Halifax has to offer. Take a look at some of the different neighborhoods, take a look at some of the price points, just get an overall viewpoint of what is going on in the Halifax real estate market. Obviously, there's going to be some lower priced areas and some higher priced areas, and it's important to understand why those areas are priced accordingly. Obviously, a realtor can help you out with that, but you can do a lot of this research on your own. Okay, so point number two is going to be to examine the supply and demand metrics. Now, in Halifax, for quite a while now, we've had a bit of a uh, an off balance where there's a heavy demand and a lighter supply, and we don't see that really changing in the next short to medium term, just because we do have an influx of immigration. But we want to really see if these metrics are going to work in our favor. So depending on what price point you are, there can be a little bit more of a slowdown. We tend to see in the higher price points that things sit a little bit longer. But again, we're gonna to wanna to make these comparisons, check for how long things are staying on the market and how quick they go. All right, so point number three is we're gonna look at property values. Now this is gonna be location specific. So obviously Halifax is a big city. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're kind of looking at a couple of different properties in a similar area to see what has gone on over the last 5, 10, 20 years, depending on what your timeline is. The reason we're doing this is to gain a better understanding of what the, I guess, rate of annual return on that property may be if we're planning on buying it, holding it for the long term versus buying it, holding it for the short term. Now, these metrics are going to vary depending on the neighborhood, and sometimes we can actually find that a certain area or certain neighborhood has sped up in the last couple years, whereas certain other areas are on a more consistent increase over time. And that's one way you can really kind of find deals in, in maybe an undervalued area. So point number four is we're gonna analyze economic indicators. So obviously we wanna make sure that there's a strong economy so that we're not having a problem renting out the space or finding whatever use case that that investment property is. So. If we're in a small town with maybe two industries, we wanna make sure that both those industries are gonna remain open. They're not gonna close uh, for any reason and we might lose a rental base. In Halifax, we have a ton of industry here. The city is growing, so we don't really have that problem. But again, if you're looking elsewhere, maybe outside of Halifax, it's a factor that you should definitely consider. All right, so point number five is going to be considering zoning and development regulation. Now, Halifax over the last couple of years has put in a new city center plan, which has completely changed the zoning landscape around Halifax to allow for more development. This can be really good if you can kind of match up properties with maybe some other properties that haven't met that development maximum. So maybe you're buying a house, you can put a triplex, fourplex, something like that along there. Or maybe you're buying a house that is very valuable to a developer who's trying to buy up a large parcel in the area. So that's something to consider. Another thing to consider again is those development regulations. So something that was recently announced in Halifax is the quote unquote Airbnb ban. However, it's not a complete ban, but looking at this, this is gonna be put into place in September of this coming year. It's gonna significantly limit who can uh, operate an Airbnb. So if you're planning on purchasing a house out here in Halifax, there's specific criteria around who is and who is not allowed to actually operate an Airbnb. But just having a general understanding of this environment is very important before you kind of jump both feet in uh, and make your investment purchase. All right, point number six is gonna to be to examine demographic trends. Now, this is a bit of an ugly building here, but uh, I'm deep in the South End. And something that you need to consider is who is moving to a certain area why are they moving there and and what is going to drive those demographic i guess demands so for instance halifax for a long time was a very kind of older population a lot of the young folks moved away however we've seen an influx recently of new immig immigrations uh we still have that old population and we obviously have uh quite a lot of universities here so there's that student population as well so in an area like halifax you're not going to really have to worry about those metrics 
too, too much because there is such an abundance of all three. But if you're looking outside of Halifax, looking to maybe a commuter town or something like that, then this is something that you should take into account uh, when it comes to actually choosing what type of investment you're looking for. So is it a, a student fourplex? Is it a young professional fourplex? Is it a retirement home potentially? What is the population like for those specific demographics? And is it a smart investment for you to make? All right, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to identify profitable opportunities when it comes to investing in the real estate market. Obviously, this is centered a little bit around Halifax, but if you're interested in more content like this, feel free to like, subscribe. But we come up with a new video every week uh, about living in Halifax. And once again, if you're, if you're thinking about making a move here, I'd love to chat. Uh, my name is Tom Moore. I work with Remax in town. Have a great day.